This is set number 75388, Jedi Bob Starfighter. It comes with 305 pieces, three minifigures, and retails for $40. It releases August 1st, 2024, and is based on the upcoming LEGO Star Wars show, Rebuild the Galaxy. The box art is pretty nice on the set, although I don't really know what it is because the Rebuild the Galaxy show doesn't come out until September. The back of the box features the Akbar Trooper fighting Jedi Bob. Still not really sure what this is about. The inside of the box contains four bags, a sticker sheet, and an instruction manual. One of the wings in my box was loose, which is really weird because I think the other one is in a bag, so not really sure what that's about. The completed set is a lot wider than I expected. It's a very strange comment to make, but if you actually look at it compared to Obi-Wan Starfighter, a similar set, you can really see the difference. The extra wideness could also be because of the blasters on the side of Jedi Bob Starfighter, but the wings are also longer on it too. The set does feature a lot of play features as well. First one being, of course, you can open the cockpit and that gives you a nice little area for Jedi Bob. I have found it very difficult to get him in there with his cape on, so I would recommend taking it off as to not damage it. There's also some storage in the front of the ship where there is a banana and a milk carton. Not really sure what that's about. There's also more storage underneath where there is a clip for a lightsaber and I guess a spring-loaded shooter missile. Speaking of spring-loaded shooters, on the sides there are some and they are pretty nicely hidden. I like how they're underneath the wings. There's also landing gear underneath the ship and it is a pretty standard design. Taking a look at the minifigures in the set, first up of course we have the legendary Jedi Bob. This minifigure looks amazing. I love how similar it is to the old one and how different it is as well. For example, I like how they kept the legs unprinted. This might be controversial because like people like printed legs, but I think printed legs would have made it look way less like the original and I really like how they kept it more simple. The printing on him is also very nice and yeah, it's Jedi Bob. What more could you want? Now, the second minifigure in the set is kind of lazy. I mean, we haven't seen the show yet, but this Akbar Trooper just, it seems like a reuse of a bunch of pieces. I don't think the Akbar head mold is new and it's just a basic clone body, but I'm sure it will all be explained when the show comes out. The third minifigure in the set is Servo. Don't know much about this because like I said, show isn't out yet. And I don't really like the design of it though. It doesn't look like a gonk droid. I think that's what it's supposed to be. It does have a nice printed piece, but it's not new. And the legs can kind of move, but other than that, there isn't much to say about them. There are a lot of stickers in this set and very few prints. I think the only print is the control panel piece, which is literally the most generic print they throw in every single set. But there also aren't very many stickers. There's a couple stickers for the hull and then a couple on the side to add detail to the wings. And I feel like this is a pretty good amount of stickers. The stickers were pretty easy to apply. So I wasn't that bothered by it, but I still would like to see some of these be prints. But really, I'm kind of surprised with how much detail they got into the set without using stickers. Like these stripes on the wings look really good. And also these weird bottom things underneath the ship are really clever with the ice skate piece. I like those. And yeah, overall, the design is really good, but I can't say the same about the value. So this set's retail price is $40, and I just think that is insane. For 305 pieces, $40, that's way over the 10 cents per piece. And like the only real difference between this Starfighter and other ones is there's these weird reverse engine things in the front and the blasters on the side. So I don't really understand why it's 10 to $15 more expensive than a usual Starfighter. Well, I mean, I know why it's the Jedi Bob tax, but still. But overall, I think this is a really good set and I would probably wait till it's on sale for $30. But if you really want Jedi Bob, he is definitely worth it.